In this session we'll be talking about menu 10, zone reporting codes, menu 11, keypad F key reporting codes, menu 12, system report code options and codes, and menu 13, user report codes. These are located in the installer programming menus. And to get into that level, we'll press the ELK key, uh, menu 9, right arrow key, then 172839, which is the default uh, installer code. And then we'll go up to menu 10, which is the zone reporting codes. Press the right arrow to enter zone reporting codes. Now, one thing to keep in mind is each zone in the system has its own set of reporting codes so that way you can customize each zone to what it will transmit or disable it so it will not transmit at all. Now if you notice here uh, we're indicating zone 1 if we use the up or down arrow we can go to any any zone in the system or we can simply type in the zone. I'll go back to 1 by z 0, 0, 1 and now we're back to zone 1. In this case, when I type it in, the cursor moves over to the first position. The A means that this is the alarm reporting code. The R means this is the restoral reporting code. The BYP means this is the bypass reporting code. And the TBL means this is the trouble reporting code. As we discussed earlier, each reporting code has two digits and you must enter both digits. For instance, 1, 2. As you see, the cursor moves on over to the next position. If I want to go back and edit that, I can hit the left arrow key and move back it into position. Here again, if you need to enter the hexadecimal values, use the up arrow, and now the, the 2 and 3 keys will allow you to step through the hexadecimal values. And the 3 key is 3 D E F. Uh, if I move over to the right, then it will cancel the hexadecimal value. And I enter a 3, in this case it jumps to the next position. So if I want to go back and, and take that reporting code out, make sure you enter a 0, 0. Now all the reporting codes and all these menus are programmed exactly the same, so we will not uh, cover this programming again during this session. So as I said, the alarm, the restoral, the bypass, and the trouble. If you do not want to transmit any of these codes then put a zero in, in those locations and then they will not be transmitted. So we'll move back uh, out of this. As I said we can go to any zone and uh, program its reporting codes. I suggest that you set up your company's uh, normal way of, of doing alarm installations and set up a uh, template account then when you create a new uh, account or user account you just reference that template account which will have your normal settings that you would normally put in to your alarm reporting codes. Alright, this is uh, pretty much ended up uh, what we'll be talking about on zone reporting codes. We'll move on now to the next menu which is uh, menu number 11 which is keypad F key reporting codes. The F keys are the six function keys that's located on the on the keypad here. Now if we move into that now we can program each keypad's reporting code for its function keys. And remember there can be 16 keypads on the M1 Gold system. So as we step up through here, we'll see it displaying, it will tell us what keypad and what key we're programming. The A means this is the alarm reporting code if we press this. For instance, if F1 has been programmed to be a fire alarm uh, function key, then we'll program uh, the fire alarm reporting code. As I had said before, SIA and contact ID uh, they automatically send the proper reporting code for CN contact ID. All you have to do here is make this a non-zero value for CN contact ID. As we step up, 
you'll see now that we're at uh, function key 2 and keypad 1 and we'll go up through the sixth one and we move up to the next one which now is uh, keypad 2 function key 1 so as, as we move up through all the function keys uh, it'll display which uh, keypad it is and which function key that we're programming. And we'll back out of this and move on up to the next menu, which is the menu number 12, which is the system report codes, options, and codes. we we'll enter into that. The first option here is the the AC fail report delay time. This is in minutes. This is the amount of time that will elapse before the an AC failure will be reported to the central station. So in this case it's set for 120 seconds to, to change it. Say if we want 15 minutes we put in 015 and now we had 15 minutes of delay before it would report to the central station that AC has failed. I hit the left arrow. Now we go to the next option. And this is the AC fail code. This is the trouble code. T is for trouble. And R is for restoral. So that these must be set to a non-zero value for them to report. The next option is the automatic test code. This is the code that will be sent to the central station. Of course, uh, CN contact ID, to, this has to to be set to a non-zero value. The next option is the automatic test time in hours and minutes. So 0000, zero, zero, zero means it will be 12 midnight. This is in military type, 24 hour time. So if we wanted it to uh, send a test at 3 in the morning, that would be zero, 03. And then we move to the right if we wanted some something other than uh, Zero, 00 minutes, say if we want 15 minutes. So at 3.15 in the morning it will do an automatic test and send that to the uh, central station the test has, has occurred. And we will now back up and go to the next option. Uh, this is the amount of time between automatic test in days. So we can go up to 255 days here between uh, automatic tests being reported to the central station. Our next option is the uh, if we're drawing too much current in the system this uh, will be the trouble code and this is the restoral code that will be sent to the central station. So uh, you got to be careful sometimes when the sirens go off uh, if you have multiple speakers in the system, you can start drawing too much current on the system and it will report to the central station that you're over current. Now move on to the next option is the expansion module trouble. In other words, one of the expanders on the system has uh, gone into a trouble condition or is missing from the system. Our next option is installation program has begun or installer program has begun uh, when someone enters the installer program mode that's option 9 in the system it will, will report to the central station that the uh, installer mode has been entered. The next option is installation program has ended and uh, when uh, to end the installation program mode, the installer should hit the star key three times. That will immediately send to the central station that the installer is uh, off premise. Or at 12 midnight, the uh, the system will automatically exit the installer program mode. Next option is the log 80% full. If you have cleared the log and when it gets up to 80% full it will send this code to the central station uh, indicating that the log needs to be read and uh, cleared again. The next option is the low battery report option. Here you have the trouble code and the restoral code for a low battery situation. And the next option is a memory error. What this is, it's the trouble code 
when the system detects that there is a uh, EEPROM memory error on the system, uh, then it will send this code to the central station. In this case, uh, whenever an upload download ends, this code will be sent to the central station. This is uh, using the ELK RP upload download software. Our next option here is a uh, telephone line fault. Uh, if that is detected, you get a trouble code and restore code. Next option is the output to trouble. The output to is monitored for uh, an open circuit. If you, as long as you have a speaker connected or at least a uh, a resistor, uh, say a thousand ohm or two thousand ohm resistor, there will keep it from um, sending the trouble signal. And you have a trouble and a restore that will be sent to the central station. This is the uh, back to the very beginning here on this on this option, and uh, so now we'll back out of this uh, by hitting the the Alt key. We're back to menu 12, and we'll go up to our next menu, which is User Report Code. Now this is we'll enter into this. This is basically uh, for all the user codes, which is from up to 99 user codes. You have a O, which is opening code and a C which is the closing code. So this is what you'll need to set up if you're transmitting openings and closings by user. This will identify this to the central station the um, the the code uh, or the report code for that central uh, for that user. And this is uh, we just go through here and select the user and set the opening and closing codes. For C and contact ID, these simply have to be set to a non-zero value. For 4.2, they need to be set to this specific code that will be reported to the central station. If we hit the L key, we'll back up, and uh, this will complete the uh, menus uh, 10 through 13.